a typical day with newborns. That's the thing. Every th each one has been quite different. I think the most important thing I can remember was trying to get some sleep, trying to make them sleep, just making sure that everything functioned at the house, not worrying about the dishes. All I remember um, when Bodhi was first born was basically just constant breastfeeding. Uh, it was like every two hours. Um, constant nappy changing, which was probably about every couple of hours as well, and trying to get him to sleep. And I think that's about it. Every day just kind of rolled into one. <laughs> Feeding all the time. A lot of nappy changes. Feeding, sleeping, pooping. That was just what I was doing. The newborn was doing the same, but in an unpredictable order. It is Groundhog Day, but at the same time, there is no rhythm but it's the same things just at different times every day. Yeah, uh, day, night, all blends into one, doesn't it? Uh, just looking constantly for chances to sleep. Um, there really only three things that happen with the newborn, and that is eat, sleep, and change nappies. It's the same for you as it is for the child. I just remember everything being so new and being so scared and terrified. You know, she's making this noise and that noise. Is that right? What am I doing? Where does that go? Oh, dear. Uh, is the whole nipple in the mouth, you know, all those things that the midwives and stuff said. So it was, I remember being scared, but just so in love and in a real wee bubble. Mum's been looking after all throughout the night. So I will take a couple hours in the morning just to make sure mum gets a little bit of extra sleep before the day starts. Um, and I call it daddy daycare. And it's essentially me doing different ways to, to distract my child from crying for as long as I can until she needs mum. Well, my babies arrived early, five weeks early, because I was diagnosed with preeclampsia. And so I was induced and um, it was tough because they were so tiny and they had to be in the neonatal unit. And in the end, I went home without my babies, which was not the picture I had in my mind. Um, but I guess, you know, we have to be prepared for all scenarios.